guys, welcome to the vlog. One day, I'm gonna start the vlog out by not getting in my truck or sitting outside of my shop. But today, it won't be a day because we gotta go pick up my cousin and aunt because they don't have a full wheel drive and take them to Wally World with my mom because, oh, Air Mountain is still covered in ice. And uh, yeah, you gotta be riding in a four wheel drive. Say hello. Good morning, everybody. How are you all? <laughs> so let's hit the road and pick them up, take her, and I gotta come back and do some work. It's supposed to warm up today about 30s, but as I think thinking about break the four wheeler out, so. Then we'll do some donuts. Mm, donuts. donuts, I like donuts. <laughs> Chocolate flavored. <laughs> if you remember from the vlog yesterday, that the big truck didn't have gas in, but I'm not taking it off the mountain. But my fooler also don't have gas in it, so where the hell did I put my gas can? I thought I put it on there. Maybe it's in the big truck. Or I lost my daggone gas can. Maybe it's in here. No, in there. What the heck did I do with my gas can? It's terrible. No, I didn't put it in my shop. Oh, no, it's not easy. Where the hell did I put my gas can? I just put it back in my truck. I put the can. Are you? Yeah. It ain't in there, is it? Well, crap. Can, where are you? I swear I didn't bring a gas can in here. Cause gas cans always smell real bad. And my phone's in my truck. Well, this is already starting to be a bad day. <laughs> already starting to be crap all day. She said there was a gas can. No. I'm pretty sure I don't bring gas cans in here cause they smell real bad. I mean, my kerosene can in. She probably seen that one over there, which is blue. I know I didn't bring it in here. I lost my dang can. Grr. <sighs> it's like how my mornings always start. Oh. Well, <laughs> I feel like kind of an idiot. I found it. <laughs> oh. Well, that kind of made me look really, really stupid. So if I talk crap about whoever it was, sorry. Wasn't really talking about anybody. Just figure someone, someone came up here and barred my gas can. Got that little hook on it. Been hooking it since 1990. Whoa. All right, let's roll. left one more. I don't know if you see me, the sun's bright, but it's good. It feels good out here. It's actually three times as hot as it was yesterday. It's like 23 and yesterday was only like six almost or five. So it feels really good out here. So let's go home and go to work. All right, so I always park where nobody parks. If somebody parks there, I'll leave a parking space between. There's a buggy rack parking space, my truck, parking space, parking space, parking space. That's just, that's like the code of like having a vehicle. It's like don't always don't find one vehicle parked in the middle or park right beside them, like this guy did. Then it gets close to you. It's like people seriously, and then they want to know why there's dents and stuff for people's vehicle because they don't know how to park. It's like I always park like leave one in between. That way you have plenty of room all the way around. And this parking space is closer than what I am. Yet this person decided to park where I did. All right, so we just got some gas for the four-wheeler and the big trucks. We got a 
little bit sideways. It's like, it's, it's coming back. Like I, I usually drive like an old person, but it's coming back. It's making me wanna get sideways every now and then. So that's why I'm breaking out the four wheeler. This is like, I don't wanna mess any of my vehicles up. It's like, there's parking lots around here like where we go run our, uh, like slashing and stuff at, but it's so heavy well maintained with cops because it's right in the city. It's hard to find a parking spot to actually do donuts and stuff, which always sucks. Because you gotta break loose every now and then. So, and I got my yard, but it's like, it looks good on snow until you start seeing dirt claws go up. Then you're like, oh crap. So, I guess we're gonna get ready and go up the mountain. Hopefully I don't meet anybody. I met somebody yesterday had a backup for him. Half the people on this mountain don't know how to freaking back up. It's ridiculous. But if I don't like you, I don't back up for you. I don't care if you got to back up a mile. I don't know if anybody ever uh, remembered doing this. A lot of people drive the newer vehicles now. It's just got the push button. But in this one where it's got the floor four wheel drive, it's like you stop, put it in neutral. Oh yeah, getting sideways. Getting a little sideways. Oh yeah. Anyways, um, uh, where you have to put it, stop, put it in neutral, put it in two wheel drive, put it in reverse, back up, and then go, and then put it in drive, go front, which to knock it out. Now, um, I know sometimes you don't have to, but I usually do because mine won't come out full wheel drive. And if it does come out, it'll you'll feel it. So I always put it in reverse, back up, and then go frontwards. It usually helps it. That's an old school stuff. It's an old school. All right, I just got some food for me and Pops. Pretty excited. I weighed, I've been on a diet since January 1st. I have an app on my phone that tells me how many calories. It's like anytime I eat, I have to put it in my phone. I've been drinking nothing but like Coke Zero, Diet Coke, uh, but and water, mostly just water. And um, I've lost, since January 1st, today is what, the 9th? the ninth i've lost uh close to like six pounds and i haven't done no exercise or anything because where it's too cold really to get out except for the day when i was walking up and down the hill sleigh riding but uh pretty proud of that Whew, my victory <sighs> all right so let's go here and eat figures i'll tell you that and i'm gonna go eat all right guys oh boy it's freezing sorry if you hear the wind on the microphone I don't, I need to get something for work, oh shit, that hurt my back, <laughs> um, got the work done, now we're going to go in here and put some gas in the four-wheeler and hopefully get to start, now I haven't started it since the last vlog, uh, the last vlog that you've seen. It was started then. Haven't rode it since either. So, hopefully it starts everything. If it does, take it outside, do some donuts. Woo! So, let's get started. Let's. I don't know why I always say let's get started. Let's just put gas in it. 10 to 1, I will end up spilling it. got gas we got a key you can hear the wind blowing great it's pretty cold out there. oh gas is on remember I don't have a choke on it so I'm hoping it starts stupid battery thing I gotta get battery terminals for it. Yeah. Well, we tried storing it, it didn't start. So give it a little bit because hopefully I didn't flood it or anything. Then we'll try to start it again. I definitely need a choke. I need a razor. <laughs> I need a million dollars. I need billions of dollars. <laughs> That's what I need. It's alive! It's running! It didn't want to start. It, it started but then stopped, started to stop. Finally, I got it where. It's running. I 
reason why I really want to start, I don't have a choke. So it took a while. Like, it, cr it cranked at it for a little bit. I stopped because I don't want to get my starter hot. So, a little bit here, here. It's like it started up, but it's like, blah, blah, blah. if you give the gas, it die. Use this when you have a choke so it can help so you don't have to touch the gas or anything. Luckily, I got it running. See, it's still cold. If you give it gas, it will try to die, but you gotta do it solid. So that's running. I gotta pump up the tires because the tires are low. They had a low leak over summer and it's been sitting for a while, so the tires are low. Got the air compressor already aired in it, so I gotta soak it up to it. It's a Swiss Mariners thing. Usually I use a gauge, but I'm not today because I'm just gonna put enough in just to be right. So, oh, it does get to it. Got that. Let it warm up. Let's unlock the garage door. Take it out. have some fun. I don't have a GoPro so I can't uh, mount, mount it on my four-wheeler because this camera's not waterproof so I am gonna get me one though. <coughs> so because I think when we did the slow ride that was pretty cool if we had like a GoPro and stuff. My cousin had one but he didn't bring it with him. So I'll sit this on a tailgate and y'all course from there. Let's go have some fun. Pretty fun and exciting. Then I'll put my gloves on right out the road. Yeah. Alright guys, so came in, got warm. Didn't want to do too much outside because it is still cold. It's still in the 20s, but felt good to break out the old foil. I haven't drove road in a while. I'll it, it started up pretty good. It's fun just riding out. I know when I rode out the road, like my uncle, he's sitting there, he jumped up real fast and was looking out the wind at me, probably like why in the world are you riding this thing in this cold? <laughs> but uh, it's pretty fun. Did some nuts. Now I'll probably have to sew all the grass up where uh, I dug into it. But oh well, it's just grass. I hate cutting it anyways. Make it all dirt. All right, so I guess let's go ahead and some videos. Our day is dwindling down. <sighs> it's been a pretty good day. 
Like, I think I've tore the yard completely up though. <laughs> it's all right. I just tear up a yard and have fun instead of having a yard and not have fun. <laughs> all right, guys, we are coming to the end of the day. Uh, had a pretty good day. Did some work. Did some donuts and drifting. Did some driving. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you push that subscribe button. And as always, this is George. And I'm out.